Hello and welcome to this open online course on Charles Darwin and evolution. Coming to you from Charles Darwin University, based here in the city of Darwin, Northern Territory, Australia. My name is Dr Stephen Reynolds and I will be not so much your instructor, but your mentor and moderator for this course. Much of the input and interaction will come from you. In this four week course, we will look at Charles Darwin himself, the development of the theory of natural selection, and the general progress of evolutionary thought. In the first part, we will examine the life of Charles Darwin, his early years, the voyage of the Beagle, and also how he came to frame his theory of natural selection and descent by modification, or transmutation as it was known then. As with all great thinkers, and people in general, Darwin was a product of his upbringing and the times in which he lived. So we will try to convey a sense of the intellectual climate and the understanding of the world in the mid 19th century. We will then examine evolution more closely, looking at the mechanism and some of the refinements of the theory, the modern synthesis, evidence for evolution and modes of speciation. We will use the animal inhabitants of the Galapagos as examples of adaptive radiation. During week three, we introduce Alfred Russell Wallace. He was younger than Darwin and he also travelled extensively to the Amazon and to the Malay Archipelago. Wallace thus spent over a decade travelling in the tropics. Wallace also and independently discovered the mechanism of evolution by natural selection and forced Darwin to finally publish The Origin of Species, a book that would change the world and the way we think and his ideas on biogeography are still influential today. The last part of the course will bring things closer to home, here in the monsoonal north of Australia. We will look at the various environments, including the monsoon forests, the mangroves, the savannas and the floodplains, and the animals and plants that have evolved within the context of this environment. I'm sure you'll enjoy this course and gain a lot from it. The course will include quizzes, animations, readings and interactive learning materials. Hopefully it will provoke you into thinking more deeply about evolution and as a result it will provide a greater understanding of biology in general. Okay, let's begin.